how are you guys doing today? Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here with us because every view here counts. We are in gratitude to you. Hopefully, we will, with what we share, we could raise your vibration, raise your frequency, and put a smile on your face. Take your mind off of what's going on in this world and put a smile on your face. That is our pure intent here. You know, check out that great portrait back there of Jim Cornette, done other, none other than by Chaff the Creator, brother. Wow, that thing's awesome. Who wouldn't love that in their wrestling cave, in their man cave, brother? The great Jim Cornette. Check them out on Instagram for more great portraits, brother. It's Duran Customs. It's Legends of the Squared Circle on Instagram and on. It's Legends of the Squared Circle on Facebook and on. It's the Ram Bros Collectible Store Name, not item name. On and on Instagram, it's custom underscore wrestling underscore lucha underscore figures. I got three great customs that I want to share with you guys and two reviews. So hopefully you guys checked out all that championship gold back there, brother. And I don't know if you guys know this lately, but I've been working out, Jack. Check out the lateral deltoids and the pectoral regions, brother. The first custom figure that I want to share with you guys is this guy. Wrestled for the NWA, the UWF, the Mid-South area, brother. I'm not sure if he wrestled in the WWF, but he was known to be a real-life tough guy, brother. It was a just in professional wrestling. And I'm talking none other. He was tag team partners with uh, Mr. Murdoch. So, and he's none other than his agility, his mobility, and his in-ring capability was through the roof, Jack. It's like these young kids say nowadays, fire. And his wrestling IQ was through the roof like none other, brother. And I'm talking none other than D. Slater, brother. Durant Customs, Durant Bros Collectibles, paying tribute, paying homage to the great D. Slater, brother. He's got the black trunks with the yellow stripe on the side, the black uh, knee pads with the white in the back, the white socks painted on there, the black and yellow boots with the white trim. He's got the hair painted on the chest. And this is Mr. Slater, brother, from the South. Wow, look at that. Who wouldn't love this in the wrestling collection, brother? His agility, his mobility, and his in-ring capability was through the roof, Jack. Because there's some wrestlers out there that can't, can't wrestle their way out of a paper bag or cut a promo like the next guy that I'm going to share. This guy's promos were through the roof, brother. His wrestling IQ was above and beyond. You know, his agility, his mobility, and his in-ring capability. He was a limousine riding, a jet flying, the kid stealing, willing, dealing. Son of a... Known as the Nature Boy, the 16-time world champ. He held most of those championships back there, brother. Not those actual championships, but he hold, held most of those replica belts back there, brother. He called himself the real Roach champion when he took that 30 pounds of gold and he went to the WWF and captured that Wind Eagle belt, brother. So in my eyes, he was the real Roach champion. He's my favorite champion, my favorite wrestler, Nature Boy Ric Flair, brother. I just threw something together. It's not a real actual custom, but I painted up the skin tone. I put the Jax Deluxe on there and I painted the baby blue boots on there with a little bit of green, brother, just to kind of pop it out. And the skin tone's painted on there with the Jax Deluxe head, because I think that Jax Deluxe head looks a little bit better. Kind of touched up the paint on that, made a little bit more white, Ble bleach blonde more, brother, because I think he was more of a bleach blonde guy. And I think that looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself, but I'm biased, Jack. Because I created it, brother. I think that's a pretty cool custom figure, if I do say so myself. The skin tones painted on there. Man, this is 
in my personal collection, though I don't think I could let that go. He has the white on the on the tips of the fingers there. I think that's a pretty cool figure, man. From the Parade of Champions when he lost that NWA 10 pounds of gold to Kerry Von Erich. My my version, my rendition, paying tribute, paying homage to the great nature boy, Ric Flair, brother. Look at that. I think that's by far the best head sculpt next to that other Jack where He has the facial, facial expression of doing the woo, you know, but I think the hair is a little bit more fuller here and realistic to the way he looked really back in the early 80s. So I think that looks pretty cool, man, if I do say so myself. You know, we got to fight to keep our vibration high, brother. We got to fight to keep our frequency high. So align yourself with positive feelings and positive thoughts and be in the moment. Turn off that TV, brother. Turn off that TV and stop letting that. We got to tune into the 432 hertz, brother. Healing mechanism to keep our vibration high. And turn that news off. You know, we got to turn off that news. Hashtag the great awakening, brother. The next, the next, we're all in this together collectively and we'll all get through this together collectively. The next custom figure that I want to share with you guys, this guy was a patriot, brother. I believe he was a Marine or he portrayed a Marine. But either way, he was a patriot because he would come down to that ring in the early 80s with that American flag, hashtag 17, hashtag the Great Awakening, brother. If you know what I mean, above and beyond. Because there's a greater fight than what we're talking about in that in-ring in -ring squirt circle going on right now, Jack. And I'm talking none other than this guy was above and beyond, you know. I don't know why he didn't have a longer run there in the 80s, but they did make an LJN of him. And there was variations of him with the beard on that LJN and, 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 and um, ones with him without it. But his agility, his mobility, his Henry capability was through the roof, Jack. And his... Uh, in ring psychology, he was a great in ring general, brother. And I'm not just saying that because he was a patriot, brother. I'm talking none other than the corporal himself, Corporal Kirshner, brother. Our version, our rendition, Duran Customs rendition, Duran Bros Collectibles, paying tribute, paying homage to the great Corporal Kirshner, brother. Look at that. If you guys, I should. You know, when I should put the little uh, American flag with them. And I had it there too because I had it with the uh, Sergeant Slaughter. And then I could order some dog tags for him, brother. I think John Cena's Mattel had dog tags on there that would look great on this. This is a Mattel Elite. The skin tone's painted on there. The camouflage is painted on there. The boots are touched up, to, you know, and the head and the hair is scoped up. Man, who did I use out there for this guy? Corporal Kushner. He just needs that uh that uh that hat, that beret, burgundy beret on his head, and that uh, American flag, brother. But look at that. How cool is that? Corporal Kushner, brother Mattel, elite. And if you look at the pictures of him, his hair is full like that. His hair is full like that, and he has that expression on him. So, as time goes on, I'll get a projector out here to share what I kind of model the, you know, that the head, which head I chose to do an actual custom with. <clears throat> but you know what? I think this is a pretty cool figure, if I do say so myself. But I'm biased, Jack, because like I said, this guy's agility, his mobility, and his in-ring capability was through the roof, Jack. He's like these young kids saying nowadays, fire. Wow, man, look at that. And this guy, 
she is up right now on store name, not item name, Duran Bros Collectibles. If you guys would like him in your wrestling collection, in your man cave, in your toy shop, wherever. I think he looks pretty cool. And actually, this guy put up, he had the most views. I think I barely put him up yesterday. It's, it's going into, I, I believe, like a 80 or 90 views, almost reaching 100 views already. So he's available right now. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. He's available right now, brother. If you want to add a custom Corporal Kushner to your wrestling collection. So I have ordered uh, with each purchase going forward as soon as they arrive. And as soon as they arrive, I will show them. I will present them to you guys so, to show to you guys. Uh, I ordered some custom uh, sports cards wrestling card figure cards of my figures a bunch of my uh collage of my figures there on a card that says the ram customs so as soon as they arrive with each purchase i'm gonna put one of those in the in the box that's mailed out to you guys with your figure and one of those cards and on the back of the cards it would say from uh Legends of the Squared Circle, you can follow us at or on Instagram under custom underscore wrestling underscore lucha underscore figures. And you can follow Chaff the Creator that made that great portrait of Jim Cornette, brother. I mean, it's going to say everything that you could follow on there, brother. And if you want to follow Twinkie the Corgi, follow Twinkie the Corgi if you like pets and animals because there's a lot of great pictures there and sometimes on this um youtube channel we share great videos like that that will raise your vibration and raise your frequency because animals know nothing but pure love brother the great you have especially right now during the quarantine in this this lockdown that's going on that's ridiculous if you ask me brother aka the pandemic you know what i'm saying brother uh let me get into these um two great um Reviews that I want to share with you guys, brother. WCW ring announcers, brother. It came with three of them. It came with Goldberg and uh, Kevin Nash and the great Mean Gene. Up until this point, I believe this was Toy Biz. There wasn't a great Mean Gene figure like that. I mean, there was the LJN, but as far as a, I mean, the detail on that, some of the, the toy business figures were very, very on point and articulated. And I think this, uh, Mean Gene in the middle, would stood the, the test of time, brother. Because if you ask me, I think that is a very cool 